Hi, it's Virtual Media with um, exclusive tut for my blog. Uh, so we're gonna be modeling a tire. So let's begin. Uh, it's gonna be quite simple, but good looking. So we're gonna start by creating a tube in the middle, so something like that, with uh, just a height, and uh, radius one will be ninety, radius two eighty, and height seventy. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit easier to follow me. Uh, create a cylinder in the middle, so something like this. Height and uh, segments of that will be you just 18, 40. Okay, and uh, bring down segments to three. Oops, there we go, and. Uh, now go to rotate tool, switch on your ang angle snap and just rotate that by 10 degrees, the middle bit. Now go to your move tool, click on the middle cylinder, just right click, as you can see select the move, just right click on that, you're gonna get this box and uh, just right click on these arrows to center out and do the same with this. So just right click, right click on these arrows, gonna put everything at zero. And uh, just grab this and uh, I don't know, just move that up. Hit F3 and it's gonna show you wireframe. So something like this, yeah. Uh, right click on a, this convert to edible poly. Uh, grab attach and uh, just attach these two. As you can see. Uh, now go to the polygon selection and uh, select this one. Oops, move to also select this one. The this one as well. Two miss two and uh, select this one. And uh, just hit bridge. Okay. So you would get something like that. Uh and once again two miss two bridge. I just gonna do one one spike by spike, it's gonna be a little bit easier to get me. So bridge once again and uh, bridge these two as well and one more and what you want to make sure that if you're gonna do it like that you need to make sure about the sides it has to be like equal number so two four six eight whatever but it has to be equal number of them uh, now what you can do is actually select these ones so just hold control and just scroll to select all of them uh, you wanna connect do you wanna connect no pitch no slide and uh, move this up something like this and uh, keep it selected and go to chamfer and uh, just scroll something like this so about seven on chamfer you wanna get this now select the middle bit Hold Alt and deselect these sides. Oops, that's a bit too much. Just the sides. Okay. Uh, now click Grow, Grow, Grow. I'm gonna get this and uh, detach, and this will be rim. Okay. So just hit Alt Q for isolation mode, and uh, just good thing to save project. So just uh, rim, cause I was trying to make this before, and my 3ds Max crashed. And uh, now you actually wanna make a few cuts. So just go in the middle. Do I just do an inset? Do something big. Oops, something is wrong. By polygon, there it is. Something like that. Okay, and uh, mm, what we could do now is actually delete quite a few things here. Yeah. So delete all. Of Why does it do that? As you can see, it's messed up. So that's why we saved it. So just open that. Just click now. Rim. Saving is actually very good. Every time you make something happen, just make sure you save it. Uh, I just 
keeper that uh, so go to the edge mode just select these polygons right here they ju just go around it and select it doesn't matter about the bottom select all of them and uh, hit rig and uh, hit connect two segments and uh, you wanna slide them out to about 70 and uh, the tighter your segments are gonna be, the tighter your edges, the tighter the whole thing gonna be uh, let's make an inset in the middle once again set something big something something like that maybe three uh, once you got that done uh, what you can do actually is uh, delete these bottom sides like so something is messed up I think now okay uh, just go to this one and uh, just hit cap that's gonna cap up no actually don't do that don't cap it up do the same with the top select the top grow and just delete that so you have something like that uh, after you've done that what you could do is select the top pieces of it and the bottom as well you can actually make just one piece and uh, use array but just uh, for sake of this tutorial just do it like that uh, hit connect and just uh, maybe do it at 80 yeah and uh, the reason why we've done that is uh, because if I now turbo smooth this just drop down turbo smooth I'm gonna get this nice sharp edges like so So, yeah, let's continue on. Uh, go to the edge, uh, select all of that, and uh, go to the front view. Select shift and uh, just drag that up a little bit. And uh, cap it, like so. Uh, go to 2, 4, let uh, loop it you won't loop it and because we need to make an inset here just gonna mess up if we do that one second just delete this just like this edge and delete this as well for now now we need to do that again so cap And uh, sorry about sorry about this all, all mistakes, but uh, I haven't practiced this, so better do it something like that's gonna be fine. So once you got something like that, uh, what you can actually do is uh, select all of these vertices, zoom it in to these, as you can see. Uh, go to weld and uh, just increase the threshold to weld these two. Okay. You won't weld nothing else, only these two, because they are closest together. And therefore, actually, two boss smoothest now, as you can see. Still gonna get the same similar geometry, but. a bit easier. So. now we can extrude it in. Something like so. Okay. Inset something like that okay and uh, ex extrude drop this time to make small inset on the top something like so 0 0.5 uh, select these edges right here loop them go to chamfer section just wanna scroll it down dramatically something like 0 0.14 same here select these two loop chamfer oops okay. oops 
something is wrong, it doesn't want to loop around it. It doesn't want to loop around these places, so we just have to do that manually. So, it's very hard to do that while you're recording because the mouse keeps blinking. And uh, very hard to actually hit the edge, the right one. I've done that, chamfer. It's right there, we'll smooth, see what we're gonna get. That looks, that looks good. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, after you've done that, I mm, think this is gonna be about it for a part one. So if I just exit isolation mode, as you can see, that's what we have. And if I actually table smooth it, that's our rim. That's what that's what we have so far. So in the next video, we'll be adding detail to it. So see you in the next video.